Yo, it's the IE phone guy. Today I'm gonna show y'all the dolly that I use. It is the Easy Transporter Four Wheel Brake. It comes from Magic Jump. It runs for $239. Let's take a look at it and let's talk about it. Right now we're looking at the back of the dolly. You see it has four tires. That really helps the dolly control the weight and easily move some heavy equipment that normally you would struggle with with other dollies. But more importantly, and even cooler I would say, if you look towards the center right here, you're gonna see what looks like a few bars. That's actually a brake and a braking system. Major game changer for when you load up the equipment, maybe you're rolling around and you come to a sidewalk and you come to that quick stop, whatever it may be. Whether you're leaning back, loading, whatever it might be, this here makes it super easy to go ahead and get the equipment on there and be in control. Let me show you some details related to the frame of the equipment. That's a major game changer. If we zoom in a little here and get a closer look, we'll see it has a type of extended frame, 32 inches, and on the sides you see they somewhat tilt in. This really allows for the inflatable to actually fall into the dolly in comparison to maybe just rolling off the side. Super game changer. And here's a great visual where you can see the dolly with an inflatable side by side with the standard dolly you pick up for the crib. You really see the size difference. Now I wanna explain something. If you're in any type of Facebook group, or if you just go through social media at all, you're gonna see everybody tell you to get the motorized dolly. I'm gonna give you two reasons on why I say don't do it, and really more so two reasons why I haven't done it. First and foremost, they are really expensive. There's a company called Jolly Dolly, and they're probably the top dogs in the whole industry. They make amazing technology, no knock on that at all, but the lowest pricing equipment is $4,500 for a motorized dolly. I've showed you guys bounce houses that you could buy for $1,100. You could literally get about four bounce houses for the cost of that one dolly. And that's for the lower end model. It even goes up to 5,500. You can get two combos. You can get two slides for that dollar amount. So it's just a much better investment when you're first starting up, especially if you have, I would say, under six inflatables. If you have less than six inflatables, I would say go ahead and add those four inflatables for the same dollar amount in comparison to getting those motorized dollies. The second detail, and this is the most important one for me personally, my equipment simply doesn't require it. I do not have any slides that weigh 600 pounds. I don't have any combos that weigh 600 pounds. I don't have any obstacle courses that are 900 or 1,000 pounds. I simply don't. With that being said, the dolly I have absolutely takes care of me and it makes things very easy for me again it has a brake and it has four tires and just a wide body that makes it super simple to move these 280 300 pound slides and bounce houses and whatever else it may be super simple now mind you i have a bunch of 11 by 11s and 13 by 13s those guys weigh like 150 to 180. They are super light on the dolly I have. Super, super light. It feels like feathers, to be honest. I feel the dolly more than I feel the equipment. So for that reason, I do not need to spend the 4,500 on those motorized dollies when this is doing A plus work for my inventory. Be mindful of that detail, because if you do invest in 600, 700 pound equipment, you very well may wanna look into a motorized dolly, even if you don't have what I said earlier, the six plus 
inflatables. Make the right decision for you. I hope this information really helped you. It's the IE Foam Guy.